Today we're going to be looking at our rear suspension for the 65 to 70 Impala and Chevrolet full size. Hi, I'm Damian Braze. This is Steve Smith. We're with QA1. Steve, what are we working on today? Today we are installing our brand new 65 to 70 Impala and full size rear suspension. So we've got the coilovers, we've got the trailing arms, the panhard bar, uh, sway bar, uh, the full package. So I I'm excited about this one and I can't wait to get started. All right, let's put the stuff on. Nice. Okay, Damien, so we're under the car now looking at this uh, kind of unique three link setup. Tell us uh, what we got going on here. So the three links are by far the most common on these cars. Uh, some of the cars with big blocks, four speeds, did come with a fourth link, so there'd be a mount over here on the axle. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, a 283 car, so. So, yeah, we've didn't, got. Didn't really need the fourth link here. Yeah, we've got one upper uh, trailing arm and then two lowers with a panhard bar. Yep. Oh. Huh. Um, somebody did add a rear sway bar onto this car. It does have air shocks and some add-in spring rubbers to get the back of the car up a little bit. I don't like it, let's rip it off. Yeah, let's get it out of here, okay. get this thing yeah, set at the proper height. Yeah, yeah, we should probably put these uh, jacks here to support the axle. Always keep it in, in its spot. Wanna race? Springs will have a retaining plate that you'll need to unbolt from the trailing arm. We've got that done, so Damien's got the spring all ready to come out. We're looking good. Here's that plate. Here's the plate. There's another one. And there's another one. All right, so we've got this thing stripped down to the lower trailing arms, the upper one trailing arm on the passenger side, and the panhard bar. Before we remove this pan hard bar, Damien's got another jack supporting the pinion here so the axle doesn't rotate on us when we pull this pan hard bar off. So here we go. Okay, so we're at that point in the disassembly where we've got the lower trailing arms off. We do have the upper trailing arm still on there just for stability. We're gonna remove that once we have the new lower uh, trailing arms on. But if you look at these old ones that we took off of here, you'll see the bushings are just mangled. They're old. They're gone. Stamped steel, all that junk. So we're gonna put those in, huh? New tubular trailing arms, new poly bushings installed on both ends. They are greasable. New hardware is included with them. So nice. Let's put well, them on. we'll get those put on and then we'll remove that upper trailing arm just to keep all the stability into this. We'll show you that next. So we've got the lower trailing arms on the car and we've removed the factory upper trailing arm. Now this, remo we removed it with the bracket that's installed via the three mounting studs because our new 
uh, upper trailing arm comes with the bracket, you will find a stack of shims here that will help with the pinion angle adjustment. Now our ride height is going to change. We would recommend keeping these shims in case you need to change the pinion angle later after the ride height set. Tell us about that arm, Damien. So with the fixed arms, like Steve said, you want to hold on to those shims and readjust the pinion angle once you get it set. If you're using our adjustable trailing arms, then you wouldn't need to use those. Uh, we do have a new upper mounting bracket that comes with the trailing arm. It does have multiple holes, so you can adjust your instant center using that. Uh, new poly bushings, pretty much ready to go. Here we go. All right, so we've got the old Panhard bar out of the car and we've got the new QA1 with the X-Series rod ends with all of the appropriate hardware. We're gonna start the length to the same length as the old bar for now. That will change with our ride height. Tell us about the uh, bushings you found there, Damien. So factory ones have some fairly large rubber bushings, pretty worn out. Uh, the sleeve actually came out of the inside of this one when we pulled it off. So I think the, the rod ends will make a nice addition and help keep this axle centered underneath the back of the car. Oh yeah, well let's get it done. All right. to install our rear shocks on this setup we're going to use the t-bar style connection similar to the factory style shock now because we've installed that t-bar for you we're going to have trouble getting the spring over the top so what we're going to want to do is take a 7 8 wrench we've already done this and loosen this jam nut here that allows the t-bar to simply unscrew off the top there then we can put our spring over the top I've got the upper spring cap, voila, like a magic. And then our T-bar will screw, our T-bar and eyelet will screw back onto the shock rod. Once we've got that tightened, we'll retighten that jam nut and we'll have it all assembled. What about that lower mount, Damien? Here's our lower shock mount bracket. This is gonna bolt on locating off the factory shock bolt hole. And then you will have to drill a couple half inch holes in the axle here. Um, this does have ride height adjustment built into it, so you can get a couple inches of adjustment out of the bracket, along with an inch or so of adjustment in the shock itself. for the rear sway bar we've got these three-piece anodized aluminum clamps that will hold it to the lower trailing arm now easiest to do would be to uh, set the bar parallel to the ground here and get our stands connected to the bar itself the front one's going to be one inch from the end and the rear connection is going to be just before the radius here you can clamp those down tight now that that's done we can go and set it right on top of the trailing arms put the trailing arm clamps on and we're done.
got all the parts installed on the 66 Impala. We've got our one inch sway bar, adjustable pan hard bar, tubular upper and lower trailing arms, and our adjustable coilover shocks. She's looking good. It's looking real good. Yeah, so we're ready to uh, be done with this and check out the front install video that we've done. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Any questions you have, hit us up on our social media platforms or email us, call us at the tech line, and we'll see you next time. And go drive it. Oh yeah, that too. Hi, I'm Damien, you're? Steve. I'm Steve. <laughs> Is I... Should I just go like this the whole time? Is it Impala or Impala? Yep, Dr. Dre, he declared it in his yep. song. Impala. Yep.